James, yeah, guys. So today we're going to talk about synchronicity and the science behind it, right? So synchronicity is positive coincidences according to a preset goal that you set. So here's an example. In 2020, I met somebody, let's call her Hannah. And Hannah was selling a specific product in the millions. And she said to me that if I was able to sell her product in the millions, like the whole set, I would get a commission of it. And I thought, yo, this is big. So in a conversation I had with a close friend of mine, I told him the plan, like, yo, I need to sell all of these products all at once because she doesn't want to sell them one by one because I'll get a commission of it. Four or five days later, the friend I was talking to, something happens to his transport and he had to take an Uber back home or back to work. Um, can't remember. But in that Uber ride, the driver is in a conversation on a phone call with a customer that is looking for a supplier that sells the quantity of, that sells the product that Hannah is selling at a, such a large quantity in the millions, right? And obviously my friend overhearing this conversation told him that he knew me and he got us in touch. So that's what I mean by positive coincidences according to a preset goal. Greg Leboy said that when you're moving towards the right direction, the universe tends to wink and nod at you to let you know. Now the greatest psychologist to ever live by the name of Carl Jung noticed these synchronicities in his life and the thousands of patients that he saw. So he started to try and inquire into it, right? And for him, synchronicity was a psychological process where your conscious mind was talking to your subconscious mind, telling it that it's going the right direction. So you base it on the belief called unos mundos, right? Which means one world. And essentially that meant that reality is not just the five physical senses, but it's also the metaphysical um, spiritual side to it. And both of them create what we call reality. So reality is not just physical, and it's not just psychology. It's a psychoid, right? And there's a lot of quantum physics that also explain this. I mean, if you look at um, Sky Nelson Isaac, he wrote a book on the quantum physics of synchronicity. And there's a lot of attempts to explain this. Now, why is this important to know? In my channel, I've spoken about the Hermody seven laws of the seven universal laws, right? And one of them is the law of correspondence, which says, as within, so without. So whatever you create in the internal world, whatever goal you set in the internal world, we can successfully create in the internal world, it'll manifest itself within the physical realm, right? That's the law of correspondence. And for me, whenever I have a goal and I see synchronicity, I, aut I automatically at that moment give gratitude to the universe as it has already happened because for me that's always a sign that my goal is, is 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 a step away from fully manifesting inside my physical reality so synchronicity for me is always a trigger to give gratitude you always just stop what you're doing and you thank the universe and you thank how faithful the divine is um for seeing it through and yeah just be in states of gratitude to attract gratitude right I hope this helped. I hope this was somewhat informative. Um, be alert to the synchronicities that, that surround your life. Be very conscious of them and look out for them. Blessings.